Hey, Allison. Um, I really enjoyed reading your post and learning a lot more information about Common Lit because I was actually really interested in that one, too, just because it reminded me a little bit of something we use at my school, which is ReadWorks. Um, but I think that the Common Lit might be better because um, it seems to have more uh, more different types of genres, um, more lessons on there. And the fact that you can edit the lessons is just a really big plus. Um, because I feel like sometimes on ReadWorks, you can't edit the lessons on that one. And I feel like that the lessons sometimes, it, it depends. Like sometimes when you're uh, teaching a book, because I do special ed, sometimes when you're teaching a book and they have it for the special ed students, ReadWorks kind of makes the curriculum very elementary I would say and you can't really cater it to the exact needs of your student um, but the fact that you can edit the lessons the lesson plans on common lit just kind of uh, makes that you know deletes that problem entirely so um, I, so thank you for uh, sharing that um, and also I do have a lot of focus like the my couple a couple of my focus students also um, thrives they also thrive when they use technology um they don't really they like reading and they like to learn new things but it's kind of weird they they don't really respond if you just give them the book or the readworks book but if you give them if you get them on the google chrome book or uh or just on a computer then it's totally different it's almost like if they just see some type of technology then it just you know changes the assignment in their mind a little bit um but yeah, uh, I definitely want to pass this along to um, the two special ed teachers I work with to see if uh, we can use Common Lit, or I don't know if ReadWorks is part of our curriculum entirely, but um, I definitely want to pass it along to the special ed teachers that I work with. So uh, thank you, Allison.